Okay, so here I am trying to upgrade uh, DNN website version 402 to DNN 523. Um, what I'll be doing, very simple. Well, at least I think, I hope so. I'll be following Mitch Sellers, uh, Mitchell Sellers, step-by-step uh, -step process on how to do that. Uh, it, he advises to do a, step, uh, a gradual upgrade instead of going straight to the most recent version that we should do. And here's what he says. This is what he says that if uh, if we we are upgrading from a, a version prior to 441 first we should upgrade to 441 then to 462 then to 490 or 495 which is the one that i have then to 523 let's see if this will work okay so i'm gonna go to my files as you can see, I have uh, I have all versions of DNN since 3.2.2. Uh, so let's go to 4.4.1. And here's the upgrade uh, site files. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the entire folder. And I'm going to go to my site, which is at this point hosted locally. That the site that I want to upgrade the DNN402. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna backup the web config file. Just gonna rename it and very simple what I'm gonna do right now before I do any change to the web config I'm just gonna copy again the entire a set of upgrade the entire upgrade uh, pack from 441 and I'm gonna just paste it over the old site files so basically I have copied everything over so the next step that I'm gonna take here is I'm gonna go to the re release.config file and rename it to web.config and I'm gonna compare. I'm gonna open the old uh, config file and the new config file. And there are a couple of sections that I need to copy over. The first one is the database connectivity. So I'm gonna so this is the old file which I have to copy the database connectivity connection strings and I'm gonna go to the new web config and I'm gonna just replace the entire connection string section this is not well formatted but I'll just put some formatting here And the second part is, the second thing that I'm going to do is the second database connection, which is under app settings. It is the site SQL server. So I'm going to copy this, go back and replace in the new web config. So this is the first thing that we're going to be doing. Let's save this. The second one is let's copy the, and we can have a look back here, what Mitchell says. Okay, update connection string, we have done this. Turn off, out, upgrade. I mean, you can do that, but I won't do just because it's my local computer and I'm on the only one um, doing that right now. So this is important. Machine key. So I'm gonna go to the old one. Just gonna find it. 
So I have to copy the machine key to the new So I'm just going to replace the entire machine key. Save again. Let's see what's next. I don't think there is any code subdirectory, but I'm just going to have a look if there is any in the old config file. Yeah, there is none. So I don't think it's it's not required. At least not in my case. So that's basically it. So we have, so the key points are copying the database connectivity. In both locations, there are two keys in the web.config under connection strings and under app settings and the machine key. It's also very important. So let's run the site and see how it goes. Hopefully, we're going to have some success. Okay, seems to be good news. Perfect, so upgrade is complete. Let's click, on, click here to access your portal. Okay, so the first part of the upgrade seems to be done. Please go to part 2 of how to upgrade the .NET Nook website. Thank you.